Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Y'all, I swear by now I was expecting that I would not be doing voiceovers, but I am doing this late at night, y'all, before, you know, tomorrow. I do plan on doing face-to-face -face recordings for y'all. But God, this one just came, it just, it just fell up on my heart. So, okay, I haven't even heard this song in years. But let's get into it. The song is by Mrs. Monica, okay? And um, the song is Before You Walk Out My Life, okay? I am going off of my memory, as y'all already know. A girl, camera is broke, so I don't have another device to look up the lyrics. But luckily for y'all, I used to rock with Monica, okay, back in the day. Not to say that I don't. I won't, you know, jam to some Monica now. But anywho, let's get into it. Well, I never meant to cause you no pain. I just want to go back to being the same. Well, I only want to make things right before you walk out my life. The scripture comes from Isaiah 5. Let me now sing of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it, he built a watchtower, and he hewed out a wine press. Then he looked for the crop of grapes, but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done? Why, when I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now I will let you know what I mean to do to my vineyard. Take away its hedge, give it to grazing, break through its wall, let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it a ruin. It shall not be pruned or hold, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the clouds not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah are his cherished plant. He looks for judgment, but see bloodshed, for justice, but hark the outcry. So here's the message. Whoever you are, whoever you are, whoever you are, baby, your spouse, has received all the love, all the nourishment. You went above and beyond. Baby, you went above and beyond. This is somebody you cooked, you cleaned, you worked hard. You may have been paying all the bills. You were a therapist, a shoulder to cry on. You were, you were everything to them. You gave them everything. Everything that men are always crying about on the little live streams that they make when they make, they do their podcast. They always saying they looking for a woman that's fit, friendly, and I forgot the other thing, but it don't matter. You was everything for this person. You went above and beyond for this person. And baby, they still drug your heart through the mud. They still stumped on your heart. They set it on fire. They, they did everything that they could to hurt you. So you said, just like this person say here. Just like he say right here. Why, when I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? This person act like they were still single. Now, I will let you know what I mean to do to my vineyard. Take away its hedge, give it to grazing, break through its wall, let it be trampled. You decided to remove your love all to yourself. You removed yourself, and you went to be by yourself. You removed yourself, and you went to be by yourself. Why should you give 100 plus percent to somebody that ain't doing nothing but hurting you? Why? Why? Ask somebody, you already know that your girl is a gardener. That is my hobby, okay? My hobby, I like to garden. It's a lot of work. You put a lot of work into this person, into this man, or into this woman. You put a lot of work into them, 
and they ain't do nothing but drag you through the mud. They stumped on you. They 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 just they jumped on you. They 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 made you feel as if you didn't do anything and you put no effort. And now they are um crying this song. Okay, I never meant to cause you no pain. I just wanna go back to being the same. Well, I only wanna make things right before you walk out my life. Baby, I feel like for whoever this you did already chunk them the deuce. <laughs> you did already chunk chunk them the deuce. Okay, you did already jig your way up out of there you said nah i got time for this and you ain't have to do much for this to come to an end you know all you had to do was remove yourself for everything to start crumbling because you was doing everything and when you are doing everything and somebody gets used to you doing everything and then you remove what you're doing that then what's left so now you know the thoughts that they were chasing or not like they they probably need about 10 thoughts to put together to come together to do everything you were doing as one person baby let me tell you about life it's hard it's hard it's tough it's the too bad <laughs> too bad baby it it, it, it takes for them to get 10 of the people they was cheating on you with that they nine out of ten were gaslighting you about telling you you making stuff up and you you don't know what you talking about and you you know nah, that's not really true and i'm gonna pause right here and add right here i know it's some people that be liking to say you know some of these men they use in defense or some of these women will use in defense everybody don't want me and i'm not really doing all that and i don't know what you talk about you sound crazy you talk about it's a bunch of people that nah you you making it up and you think everybody want me like it's not a man that is currently getting fame right now because he is known as a bandit that has went around and got several women pregnant at the same time and every single one of them he don't help with nothing baby i don't like i don't have time for people that be trying to gaslight and be trying to act like this is something new baby they ain't make that song papa was a rolling stone for no reason men be doing this for years women been doing this for years like let's 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 cut it let's cut it let's cut the nonsense baby let me be real me as a person if i am married to somebody okay i dedicated my life to them and i decided that i choose them and they tell me that they are not comfortable with me hanging out with such and such. Me and such and such, we done. We not friends no more. Because my wife or my husband means more to me than whoever this person is. Oh, bye. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Guess who's going to be there once the friend go home? Okay? Let's be real. So I, I'm just being real. To, I'm saying this to say this is somebody you would tell them you feel some kind of way about them hanging out with their exes. You feel some kind of way with them still having people, having people around and they side eyeing you and they mistreating you. It don't matter if they are a friend or a friend of the family or whatever. If they are making you feel uncomfortable and you feel like they are constantly making you feel as though you, you like, how do I say it? Like, it's, I, there are ways that people can tear up a marriage. You don't have to be somebody that's literally doing anything with one of the people in the marriage in order for you to tear it up. Gossip would tear up a marriage. If it's a family friend and for whatever reason they don't like your spouse, they could easily call moms on the phone, call sis on the phone, call this person, call that person, and talk down about your beloved and make them out to be a monster. And now the whole family hates them and they don't even know them. Your friend don't even know them. They just know that they want you to go back to chasing women like them or they want you to go back to chasing men like them. They want you to go back to being out all night and drinking all night and hanging out in the streets, wasting your life. That's a Satan anyway. Why would you want to hang out with somebody like that? And whoever you are, you told this person how you felt over and over and over again. And they argue with you. And made you out to be like you were crazy. You was making stuff up and you don't know what you're talking about.
Baby, I don't want to be around nobody that's not going to put forth effort to make me comfortable. Because I'll do it. And, you, you know, just the fact that I know that I will do it, that lets me know that it's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? And I, I like, I don't know who needs to hear. You, you did a lot. You sp he spaded it, cleared it of the stones, and planted the choice vines. This is somebody you cleared yourself of any people that would be bad influences on your marriage, bad influences on y'all relationship, and people that you knew good and well didn't mean y'all any good. You cleared yourself of them people so you wouldn't be influenced by any negativity, but your spouse insisted on being wild. They insisted on having these kind of people around. They welcome people like that around them. They welcome people like that around them. I saw, some, I, I saw something a while ago that said that it's not good for married men or married women to hang out with single people. Why? Because they're going to start looking at the way the single person lived their life and they want to go back to living their life that way. Meanwhile, they don't even realize the single person looking at their life and they want that. This person allowed people around y'all to tear y'all marriage up. They allow people rumors to start, and they allow people to uh, infiltrate their family's opinion of you. They, they gave someone access that they did not deserve. They gave someone access they did not need. They allowed somebody to come in between y'all to such a way that you decided to throw the rake down, you threw the shovel down, and you chunked them the deuce. And now they are singing this sad song and trying to make you feel bad. They want to guilt trip you. But they did not do anything proper. They didn't make the proper steps or take any proper steps to get ready for you. They want to complain to God that where's my wife, where's my husband? You ran them off. They hiding now. Because not only did you allow your friends and family members to run them off, you then turned around and told your friends and family members to chase after them and attack them and uh, treat them as if they are so wrong and how dare they and who do they think they are. Baby, guard the nerve of this person. The nerve. The nerve. The kahunas. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> the kahunas of this person to be trying to make you feel like you are guilty in any shape, form, or fashion. This is a narcissist, and they refuse to accept the fact that they are the reason that it fell apart. And if they so badly want you back, they need to get things in order. If they fail to get things in order, they're going to just have to let you go. This is something they wanted to live their life like they were still single. They want to gaslight you into thinking that you're not making any sense. They want to gaslight you into feeling as though they were not cheating on you. And you saw them. You have proof. They want to make you feel like you're making stuff up. You have proof that they were abused. You have proof that they were cheating. Baby, I don't have time. Like, these, like this is how, and it's how a lot of men nowadays think, and it's sad. And I know it's some good men out there, okay? I'm not always just trying to get down on all the men. I know it's some good men in these streets. But, baby, it's a big chunk of men that really think that they should be able to live their life where they can sleep with any and everybody. And who don't have time for it is me. I'm not like I'm not going to pamper anybody. I'm not going to sit here and hold anybody here. A grown man. After you hit 25, your brain is fully developed. Fully developed. Should nobody have to tell you, now look, baby, I don't I expect that you are not going to cheat on me. Shouldn't nobody have to tell him that. Shouldn't nobody have to tell a woman to, because there's some women out here that's like that, okay? Shouldn't nobody have to tell them that. They, they know, okay? This is conscious decisions. This is a conscious decision. This is not a one time. This is somebody, they insisted on cheating on you. Every time you came back and checked on your grace, that was wild. And... I just feel like they trying to guilt trip you. They sending people to try to guilt trip you into taking them back and accepting it. Nah, why should you have to accept nonsense? 
Just like I said, for 25, your brain is fully developed. There is no reason that anybody should have to hold their hand and give them a checklist. Make sure you don't look at the thoughts today. Mm -mm. Make sure you, if you do look at them, that doesn't mean you have to speak to them. Okay, if you, even if you do say hello, that don't mean you need to sit there and have a conversation. Oh, okay, and even if you have a conversation, you need to be an adult about this. And just because they are nice and they smile at you don't mean that you have to take it a step further. You're married. I'm here. Nobody should have to do that. And this person is trying to make you feel, baby, they don't want me to say it. They trying to make you feel like it's your fault. They trying to make you feel like you wrong. They trying to make you feel like you tripping. Ain't nobody finna sit around and accept nobody foolery. Baby, uh-uh. God said you didn't told them, you walked out their life, you chunked them the juices, keep going. If they, like, since they want to act like this here. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridic ridiculous. And last but not least, the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. And the men of Judah are his cherished plant. He looked for judgment, but see bloodshed for justice, but heart the outcry. God say he is seeking judgment upon them. They are now realizing that it's going to take 10, 20 thoughts to build up the kind of the, the woman that you were, the man that you were. It's going to take several people to build that just at one spot that you held, the one, the position you held, the way you held it. They're having a hard time replacing you. And now they upset. They don't know what to do. They stressed out. That's their problem. Instead of them realizing how wonderful the jewel that they had, the gold that they had, the diamond that they had while you were there, they decided to chase after any and everybody else. That's their problem. It's tough. And that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.